take three. Good morning, everybody. It is Monday, January, July 22nd, 2024. Okay, why am I... Something's going to rock in January. Okay, please remember, yeah, I'm a clairvoyant, clairaudient psychic, so everything is for entertainment purposes only. The full disclaimer is in the box, along with... Uh, if you feel so inclined, you can buy me a coffee, cream, soda, and we reactivated the tip jar. Um, no, I don't plan on signing up for AdSense, which basically monetizes the videos. Because if you're monetized, you're had more people want to pick apart and censor what I can say and what I don't say. Uh, so... Yes, I, I, I'm very appreciative of all the coffee and cream soda that people send me, and uh, along with the tip jar stuff. It's right now, yeah, in the moving situation, but a lot of places that I've looked at, because of the circumstances of last week, I'm like, um, do I want to go into one of these high-rises that all the doors are, it's a key fob? Basically, it's all computer uh, computer controlled to how you get in and out of the building and your own door. You don't even have a traditional key. You have to have a, a, a programmed fob. And what happens, like last week, there was that massive computer glitch. Would people be locked in their units with no way of getting out? Power computers go down. Somebody has an emergency and they can't call out on their cell phone for emergency services if they need a paramedic. These buildings are not hardwired for a true landline phone. Yeah. People who are of a certain age and people with medical conditions, you do need a hardwired true landline phone in case of emergency, in case you need to call for a paramedic, emergency services, transport to the hospital. So, yeah, I'm kind of switching direction on what I'm looking at, which means, yes, yeah, Saturday I ran into some people. I went to listen to the local cruise night, and they had a good band playing. I'm talking to some friends, some people who are business acquaintances of a old family friend slash Texas cousin. They work with the same real estate group. And I said, yeah, I'm like having to relocate. This is what I'm looking at, but I'm getting really annoyed because they're all bait and switch. And then when you go in, they'll tell you the price is the rent is $1 amount. Then you go in and say, oh, well, then you also, this is a fluctuating amount every month for like, yeah, uh, ground maintenance, uh, your trash and water and all this other nonsense. And I'm like, no. And then on top of it, you have to pay your electric. So, no, it's like, don't say the rent is eighteen fifty when you're going to tack on another three hundred dollars. So that pushes it up to twenty one hundred. Then with your electricity and all the other nonsense, twenty five hundred bucks a month. No. So I am, I am, investigating now, the older buildings where okay, I'm not going to have a washer and dryer in unit, but hopefully I will find some place with a dishwasher. So. But when I was talking with these people, yeah, I was talking about how they do this bait and switch with the rental rates. And they're like, go back, think about it for a minute. Yeah, I'm finding more and more of these corporate complexes are owned by groups out of California. Then when you further investigate these cor California corporations, they're tentacles of BlackRock. They're the ones that are controlling the rents. And uh, it's kind of creepy. All these buildings are computerized. So if Black BlackRock wants to basically... They could imp imprison how many thousands of people nationwide by restricting their access out of their apartment. Okay, a lot of these apartments, they'll have like 
uh, one of them has several buildings and I would say there's at least 10 to okay let's say the building's 15 stories or 10 let's go 10 stories and they have a minimum of 10 apartments per floor that's a hundred apartments and most of them have at least two people or more because some of the apartments are multiple bedrooms so each building basically could lock in a thousand people per building yeah have a thousand people locked within their apartments and not able to get out for anything that's kind of weird it's kind of like a black rock is getting ready to basically limit the movements of people nationwide so if you see these apartments with this key fob crap avoid it because you don't know if they decide if the uh, if some creepazoid decides to play around with the computer again and shut down everybody's internet all the computer programs nationwide and you may be trapped in your apartment with no way to let people know that you're trapped and in need of help so yeah be watchful of that um, yeah we want to say happy birthday to Prince George today he's 11 and I hope he realizes I hope he enjoys it that this is the last year William and Catherine and the kids can all travel together because starting next year when he's 12 George and William can't travel on the same uh, can't travel together so most likely George will be traveling with Catherine after when he becomes 12 and I would say Louis then gonna be traveling with William all the time so he has exclusive daddy time and whenever they go someplace it's Charlotte will probably fly out with either mom or dad and then the flip trip she'll be with the other parent so equal time but yeah he's this is the last year where he's really can be considered a child and when he turns 12 uh, definitely little Prince George will have to start no longer family travel together that's what's going to happen um, some of the gossip sites are putting out crap pertaining to Mike and Zara Tyndall well if they're going to be granted a titles I'm guessing it's going to happen at a New Year's honor, not middle of the summer. Okay. Now, one thing that a lot of people have sent to me, and I'm kind of laughing about it, is that um, I'm now in a meme. <laughs> Someone, I guess, is fed up with the nonsense of Gamer Girl and has created a meme and it's on X and the account is Lord Baltimore go ahead take a look I'm laughing my butt off about it I'm just like hey uh, even though my number is on this on YouTube platform don't show it I guess I might I might be really irritating or causing ruffling feathers for now to be a meme that puts me in a positive light so hey <clears throat> I think that's kind of cool now uh, yeah one of the other sites I mean that's on X but one of the other sites that I'm on and you can find my find the link to it in the box the description box is um, for truth social well yeah I do since yeah I do have my actual I don't use my avatar of my red boots on truth social I actually have a photograph well I'm now getting these idiots that are thinking truth social is uh, like that other app that starts with a T it's like dudes I'm not interested in looking for a hookup get lost I'm like hey I tell them hey this is not a dating app get lost 
So, but I wonder if they are um, bots paid for by the donkeys. I'm like, dudes, get lost. Not interested. I mean, you want to know about stuff? Start watching my channel. And if these dudes want to ask questions, I'm going to pull the Steph Alterner nonsense. You got a question? Pay for a super sticker on my channel. Okay? You want me to answer your personal questions? Let's see you hit the thank you button on my lives on my button on my videos. And that's for all these idiots on Truth Social who think. Okay? Not uh, this is just for the idiots on Truth Social. You want me to answer questions? You guys gotta. I'm gonna follow the example of stealth the alter nerd. That's not for my regular people, but just for the idiots. For the stupid idiots. Okay? Now, yes. Okay. Um, a while back, I did talk about JoJo. Okay? People are asking, hey, is he going to run? What's going to happen? And I keep getting <clears throat> LBJ. Lyndon Baines Johnson. Okay, we know Lyndon Johnson was sworn into office on Air Force One back in November of, what, 63. Uh, and um, he did have the, he was elected into office in 64, so here it is, 68. And he makes the choice very close to the 68 Democratic Convention that he is not going to run. Well, the 1968 Democratic Convention, that was in Chicago. I mean, just Google it. I mean, all hell broke loose. Grant Park was a riot fest. And I'm not talking about the music concert, the concert, the music festival. I mean, it was, shit was hitting the fan. Well, it's ironic that, hey, we've got a non-lucid donkey at 1600 right now and in a very short space of time they now have decided that to pull him out and prevent him from running for office and it's very close to the 24 donkey convention here in Chicago now I keep calling it's gonna be more it's gonna make 68 look like a nice pic family picnic in the park all hell is going to break loose. Because A, we've got their, the donkey and JoJo is saying, oh, he's supporting Cami Poop. Well, anybody who knows anything about Cami Poop's history knows that she's nothing but a F and see you next Tuesday. The only way she got where she is is by spreading her legs and being the repository for someone's bodily fluid okay um my personal beef with her is that okay she started out, she was district attorney of san francisco from 04 to 11 then in 11 she got she jumped into being the attorney general of california and then after uh then she became a senator well back in 2011 okay she's the Attorney General of California, and so she's supposed to be making sure the bad guys are held responsible. Okay, October of 2011, that's when I started the lawsuit against a trade union for their discrimination against women. This trade union is affiliated with the film industry. Okay, I kicked the ball off on October 6th, 2011. Well, let's put it this way. Um, after I, it caused a lot of ruffle in the industry. And then all of a sudden, a lot of other women start coming up and telling their stories of their discrimination and abuse <coughs> by men in the film industry. Cami Poop, as Attorney General of California, was handed banker's boxes of evidence. And yet, <clears throat> she did nothing. So basically by her refusal 
to go after men that were physically abusing women? Weinstein's just the tip of the iceberg. We can tell where her loyalties lay. She's not for women. She's for her own. She'll do anything to promote, to get her ass up into a higher place. That's all she... The only woman that uh, Cami Poop will help to succeed is herself. She's a me, myself, and I idiot. That's Cami Poop. Now they're trying to figure out, okay, who's going to be her running mate? Gruesome Newsome? Pugsley Pritzker? Um, yeah, folks, don't believe all that she says because she says, oh, I'm black. Bullshit. Go and listen to Lady C. Lady C quite often gives accurate information on the cultural, ethnic heritage of Jamaica and Jamaicans. Cami Poop's daddy is Jamaican, which means most likely... He is of mixed ethnic DNA heritage. Odds are he's at least, he's got a, probably at least 50% European DNA. Okay? Because, hey, how else did he get the last name Harris? Her mommy, Cami Poop's mommy, is from Madras, India. Now go back, watch the old Ben Kingsley movie called Gandhi. If you're from India, you're considered colored. So, Cami Poop is 50% Madras Indian, so she's colored, not black. Okay? So, let that sink in. And we probably have better odds that Rachel is more African DNA than Cami Poop, okay? And that's a frightening thought. But who's going to be her running mate? I kept getting it's like it's Newsom Pritzker ticket, but then I was in kind. Of, I've been informed by my backdoor sources that keep an eye. There may be a Kelly Whitmer ticket coming out of that convention. And if you ask, okay, we know Gruesome Newsom is the governor of California. And we've seen how he's destroyed California. J.B. Pritzker is governor of Illinois. He owns, he's a billionaire. He owns Hyatt Hotels. Yeah, Hyatt Corp. You know, all the hotels worldwide, we got to boycott them. So the, the, the fat, obese fool, his uh, bank account starts dropping. And... Anybody who's watched Illinois politics knows that Pritzker is beholden to the Obamas. So he would be a lovely Obama puppet. But then other sources are t giving me the info. It's going to be Mark Kelly and Gretchen Whitmer. Mark Kelly? Yeah. He's a Democratic senator from Arizona. Okay, yeah, so he was a... Uh, I don't want to say rocket scientist, but yeah, he was on several space shuttle missions. So, astronaut. The guy's really good at taking orders. Let's put it that way. If you're on doing something on the space shuttle, you better be following ground control. Otherwise, the whole thing will literally, it'll be at the Challenger all over again. But he's also could be better known as the husband of Gabby Gifford. You know, the girl, the st stupid politician that someone went him. Yeah. The only reason he's in politics is because his wife, somebody, tried, quite possibly was trying to do the right thing. Remember... My channel, I'm a psychic. Everything is entertainment purposes only. 
So that's Mark Kelly. Um, a white guy who's really good at taking orders from higher-ups. And then you've got lovely Gretchen Whitmer, who's the governor of Michigan. Take a look at the state of Michigan. The big three auto manufacturers are bailing out. You've got the dipshit Rashida Tlaib out of Michigan. I mean, it's like somebody, some guys probably after a few beers came up with an idea, let's how to remove Whitmer from office. But they're, they got a little bit messy and things blew up in their faces. So if you really want to know the truth about Michigan, go check out the commentary <clears throat> by Ted. Ted the bow hunter, you know, the guitar player guy. Go check out what he has to say. He'll tell you the truth about Gretchen Whitmer. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. Wild man Ted will tell you the truth. And he does not hold back. And he does have his own website so he can put up more detailed information without the running the risk of being censored. He has his own servers and stuff. So he'll tell the truth about Gretchen and her inept running of the state of Michigan. Okay? So, uh, I'm saying they're going to talk, they're probably going to toss out Harris, Newsom, Harris, Pritzker, Newsom, Pritzker, but it's probably, I've been told, it's going to end up being Kelly Whitmer. Well, they're going to, they're using as much as they can to place sympathies, but people have woken up. And, uh. Missing part of your ear? That's gonna... And they're gonna show it. That's gonna call... Bring more people out to vote than anything else. Now, um, a couple people have asked me, how's the apartment hunt going? And I'm like, I thought I had decided on something. But... Considering the computer crash last week, um, my thinking has kind of changed because I was looking at some of these nice buildings with that, all the stuff. And I mentioned that a lot of them I'm finding out are owned by California corporations. Well, Saturday I went to listen, went to the local car show and they have a good band and I ran into somebody. Um, who's in real estate and we were chatting. I'm like, yeah, I'm still looking. I'm like, I'm really sick and tired of this bait and switch stuff because it's like, they tell you the rents this, then when you go there, they're tacking on another two to $500 a month for stupid shit, which should have been included. And I, they're like, well, yeah, it's, and I said, yeah, I'm finding all these, they're California corpse. And he goes, dig further. They're attached to BlackRock. I'm like, oh, shit. And when I look at these units, a lot of them, it's a key fob entry. Which means if the servers go down, you can't get in and out of your own apartment building or your own unit. The doors are permanently locked. So if somebody wanted to, they could literally turn your apartment building into a prison. So, okay, I've realized I may not be getting an in-unit washer and dryer. Hopefully, I'll find an independent landlord. Hopefully, there at least will be a dishwasher. Because, I mean, I admit it, I hate washing dishes. I don't mind having to go to a laundromat to do my laundry, but doing dishes, I'd like a dishwasher. So, um... Yeah, that's how the apartment hunt is going. And also these other buildings, these new buildings, 
you can't have a true landline phone installed. So that's why I'm now going to look for an older building or a converted house that is still has the hard wire for a true landline phone because folks, once you're of a certain age or you have medical issues, just like what happened with everything, all the computer crap going up in smoke, a true landline phone has its own independent power source so you can at least call for emergency services. So that's what's happening now. And yes, yeah, sorry, this is a direct upload, but I do have, like I've said, I have medical issues. I have RSD, so I have a doctor's appointment this afternoon, so that's why I couldn't schedule this as a premiere. But I hope everybody has a great after, great day, great Monday. And the next video goes up on Wednesday, the 24th. And let me look. Do I have... Um, yeah, I'll be able to, I'll be at 4.30 Central Standard Time on the 24th. Okay. Everyone have a great day. Catch you on Wednesday.